Good morning, friends. Happy, happy Saturday. It is just before 7 a.m. and I just got to the grocery store. So today I'm going to be doing some shopping at my local Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. And then I'm heading over to Walmart to do my Walmart grocery pickup. There's just a few things that I can't find at Fred Meyer that I like to have on hand. And some of their sale prices at Walmart were really good. So I picked up just a few items there as well. So I am here. I'm going to be doing my grocery shopping. I'm going to be heading home. I'll fill my grocery haul and I'll show you guys what's on my meal plan. I have such a fantastic meal plan for this next week. I am really excited. And as you know, if you watch my channel, I'm doing the Wendy plan another week. So I'm excited to try to incorporate extra food, extra snacks in those days that my points are a little bit higher. Now, if you want to know what the Wendy plan is, if you go to my Facebook group, it's right here on the screen, you can go ahead and click the Wendy plan calculator and it'll calculate what points you need to eat to do the Wendy plan. I had great success on it last week. I lost 2.4 pounds. So I'm going to give it another shot and let's see if it is just my body loving me or if it really is the Wendy plan that caused that little bit of success. So I'm going to be doing that again. So if you want to see what groceries I picked up for the week, what's on my meal plan, then all you have to do is keep watching. So here's my grocery haul for this week. And then once I'm done showing you everything I picked up, we will get right into the meal prep. So let's get started on this week's grocery haul. First, I grabbed another container of my very new favorite almond milk. This is the unsweetened silk almond and coconut. I love this milk. The flavor is really good and it is only 35 calories. So you can have an entire cup for one smart point. It's thick. It's really good. It's definitely a good choice if you like that little mix of almond and coconut. Also the staple in this house, fat free ready whip. I was actually completely out. So it was time to pick up another container of that. I grabbed two yogurts. I've really been enjoying these two goods. I like that there is no added sugar and the two grams of sugar that is in this yogurt comes naturally. And they're really, really good, especially topped with the Julian Bakery Pro Granola. So I picked up a strawberry and a blueberry. I think I still have a vanilla in my fridge, so that's going to be perfect. Also, I grabbed some 2% low-fat cottage cheese. Again, I've been on the cottage cheese kick lately, so I picked up a big container because I'm going to have this for snacks this upcoming week. A loaf of French bread. This is for a breakfast recipe that you guys will see in meal prep, so really excited about that. Light shredded cheese. Fred Meyer had this on sale for 99 cents a package. So I went ahead and picked one up. Even though we have quite a bit, I wanted to stock up because 99 cents is a fantastic deal. I also grabbed another pack of my Happy Eggs, which you know are my very, very favorite eggs. I got two packages of this Great Value Garlic Parmesan Seasoning. I saw this on Amanda Lewis's channel. I love her. Make sure you check out her channel. She put this on chicken, and I want to just throw it in the pantry to have it on hand because I thought, how good would this be on chicken? I'm not a big wing person, but I was thinking on chicken. Absolutely delicious. So I grabbed two packages of that. A can of green beans for my dogs. You know that I rinse these, and we give these to them at dinner instead of table scraps. A small can of tomato sauce. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Sugar-free strawberry jam. I was completely out and this is for meal prep for breakfast. I think I have the boysenberry as well, but I grabbed the strawberry for that recipe. Restocked my rice vinegar. I was completely out from mine being expired. So I went ahead and grabbed another container of that just to restock my pantry. I am just about out of garlic powder. So I really like the Simple Truth Organic. So I picked up one of those. Sweet and sour sauce. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Salsa was on sale for 99 cents. So I grabbed it just to stock the pantry. I like having this on hand for recipes, for chips and dip. And I grabbed the Mild Pace Picante. I was also just about out of cornstarch, so I grabbed another Stay Fresh container of that. 
Since I did a Walmart pickup, I grabbed my very other favorite whipped topping, which is this Hershey's. It is so good. I absolutely love this. So I stocked up on that as well. I've been obsessed with the great value sugar-free cherry pie filling, you guys. This has been my go-to dessert. I have this with some of the milk chocolate, Lily's chocolate chips on top. Sometimes I will add a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip, but I'm telling you, this is so good and you can have a ton of it for a super low smart point. So you can see that I went ahead and grabbed two cans. Like I said, I'm obsessed. Pretzels were on sale for 99 cents a bag at Fred Meyer for the family size bag, which is a fantastic deal. So I grabbed the sticks. I really like these just to have on hand for snacking, super low points, super delicious. A new find for me are these Reese's Thins. You can see I opened them because I wanted to try one on my way home. These are delicious. So these are not dieted down. These are actual Reese's peanut butter cups, but these are the thins. And let me show you them. So that's another reason I wanted to get them opened. So this is the size of them. They are thin, but they are only three smart points. So you can have one for three smart points, two for five, or three for eight. So I thought, what a nice little thing to have on hand. You can also make s'mores out of these in the summer and really lower the amount of points for the sweet part of your s'mores. So I grabbed a bag of the Reese's Thins and you can see there's quite a few in there. So really excited about that find. Medium shrimp, this is for an upcoming dinner recipe. It was buy one, get one free. So I got two bags for $8, which is quite a good deal for shrimp. Ground chicken, this is for my lunch meal prep for the upcoming week. I did pick up some of the Farmland Classic Cut Bacon. This was on sale for $2.99, which is a fantastic deal. I don't know the points, but they'll be here on the screen for you, just to have on hand when we're feeling the need for some bacon. I also grabbed two huge packs of hamburger. So these are 2.25 pound packages. I got these at Walmart. I have two of them. And what I generally will do is just weigh them out on my food scale and bag them up into one pound packages. Much less expensive. I want to say it's just over $4 a pound this way. So definitely a better deal than buying individual one pound packages. So I picked up two of those. Also chicken apple sausage. These are for my lunch prep this next week. So you're going to see those. Love these, you guys. Two smart points a link. Love, love, love these. Frozen veggies, just to have on hand for the week. So I have some mixed veggies. I got this sugar snap pea stir fry, and I thought these would be really good just to have as a side. I love this flavor pack brand. Their vegetables are so good, and the quality is outstanding. And then this is kind of my new favorite. This is sugar snap peas, yellow carrots, carrots, and broccoli. This one is really good, this Pacific blend. So I grabbed those for side dishes for the upcoming week. Also some petite fingerling potatoes. This is for my lunch meal prep. And the rest is produce. So we have a couple of sweet onions, three kiwis, two gala apples, quite a bit of mushrooms. I grabbed whole mushrooms and sliced mushrooms. Look at that price. For organic mushrooms, that is a bargain. Also some blueberries. I've been loving blueberries as my fruits for the week. So picked up a big pack of that. I wanna say it was $2.99. Also, I saw this was on clearance for $1.99. This is the Organic Girl 50-50 blend, and salads are sounding pretty good. So I, this is a kind of a small pack, but I figured that way I could use it up before it goes bad. A couple of bananas, and really excited, organic sweet cherries were $2.99 a pound. So this entire bag was $4, which is a great deal for cherries. So I'm thinking cherries and blueberries for my fruits this week. So that's everything as far as groceries. Let me show you what drinks we picked up for the week. Diet Coke for my husband, per the huge. Diet Pepsi for myself. I've been drinking a lot of the Coke Zero and I've been wanting some Diet Pepsi. I do have one can a day typically just with dinner, so I don't overdo it, but Diet Pepsi sounded really good. And then of course, my very favorite beer, which is the Summer Shandy. So I kind of made myself a variety pack. So this is the lemon. 
And then you can see that I went ahead and added this one. I've never had this is the canoe paddle. So I'm excited to try that. And then this is the grapefruit shandy, which I love. So we're going to some friends tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that with me. So that's our drinks for the week. And let's move into the meal plan. So to get into our meal plan, first you need a meal planner. So this is my Carrie L meal planner. You know, I'm literally in love with this meal planner. I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous top-notch quality everything you'd ever need in a meal planner you've got quite a few tabs for different things that you can use the planner for i absolutely love this so we're going to start here on the meal plans tab as that is what we're going to take a look at today so what i love about this meal planner is you can plan your meals by the month i use this as a reference point so i'll look at what's on my agenda for the next day so that i can pull whatever needed meat or whatever i need out of the freezer make sure i have have all the ingredients so it just makes making sure that you have everything on hand easy by using the monthly planner and then they have weekly planners as well where you can plan your entire week's menu by date and then they have this gorgeous detachable grocery list i use it every week and that is where i make note of what groceries that i need to pick up so love this planner so incredibly much so this is this week's meal plan so you can see the grocery list is missing so i plan my menu from saturday through friday so it starts today june 22nd and we'll go through next friday june 28th so today we are going to some friends tonight for dinner so we are out for dinner and this is my high point day as well so i don't really track or worry about what's on the menu for saturday tomorrow i'm going to be making baked spicy chicken meatballs and i'm going to pair that with some roasted potatoes and some vegetables yum and then monday i'm going to do air fryer takeout sweet and sour pork uh yes please with some rice and veggies cannot wait for that Tuesday is going to be popcorn shrimp and we're going to do fries and vegetables so we're going to have a seafood diner experience on Tuesday. Wednesday I'm going to be making what's called hamburger buddy so it's a hamburger goulash dish so I'm really excited about that with some vegetables. Thursday is leftovers. Thursday is also when my best friend flies in from San Diego. I cannot wait. So Friday we are having a girl's barbecue so friday will probably be the day that i use my weeklies for this next week since we are having our barbecue that day so really excited to see her really excited for the barbecue and then on the back is where i'll plan out meal so here is what i am meal prepping for the upcoming week so for breakfast i'm going to be having strawberry cheesecake french toast casserole my goodness am i excited for this and i'm going to go ahead and pair that with some eggs possibly some turkey bacon i'm not sure the points on the casserole so if it's fairly high i'll just have some zero point eggs with that for lunch i'm going to be having deviled chicken sausages with roasted potatoes and vegetables can't wait for that and then i'm going to be making mini creme brulee cakes these are so cute they're in a bundt cake pan they're adorable and wait until you see the smart points so this is what you guys will be seeing in my upcoming meal prep so again my cariel meal planner if you're interested she has so many different meal planners she has daily planners weekly planners vision boards downloadable printables you name it she has it there's a link down in the description box below click the link Enter the code here on the screen, Jen's WW Journey, and you will save 10%. So not a bad deal for an amazing planner. And this thing lasts you at least one year. So it is definitely a fantastic investment. So check out Carrie L. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you liked seeing all of the fun groceries that I picked up, those Reese's Thins, a few new finds, and also this week's meal plan. You will be seeing the majority of the recipes in upcoming videos, as well as all of my breakfast, lunch, and sweet treat in meal prep. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell, that way you won't miss a single video. You'll be notified every time that I upload. Give this one a thumbs up, Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this week's grocery haul and what recipe are you most excited to see. Have a wonderful Saturday and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.